Welcome back to the channel guys. So today I think we have a pretty sweet one for you concerning Super Nintendo. So if you remember back in the day, one of the biggest selling points was Mode 7 graphics on the system. It was a pretty sweet mode that allowed background layers to be rotated and scaled, giving you that kind of 3D, you know, aspect. It, it kind of really made you feel like you were playing a game in 3D, even though you really weren't. As you can see in Pilot Wings here, really gave you that, that feel of being in the air, flying around in a 3D space. Very revolutionary for the time. And looking at emulation, a lot of people like to emulate, but accuracy is always an issue. And that's where BSNES comes into play. BSNES is the most accurate Super Nintendo emulator out there. And now, from a pretty awesome dude going by Dirkoon, he has created a patch for this emulator that gives us an HD mode 7 mode, essentially. Pretty sweet. So this is the standard visuals. Now we're going to swap on over to the HD mode implemented. We have no blurring on and holy crap, taking a look at this. It's like you're playing a whole new game. So with this HD mode, there's different levels that you can adjust on it. I have it at max right now. And essentially what it's doing is taking those mode seven transformations and putting them up to four times the horizontal and vertical resolution of the original hardware. And yes, this is impressive in my eyes. So I wanted to showcase this to you guys and then show you how you can get this implemented. It is a lot of fun messing with. I have, you know, a controller plugged into my computer playing these games and I'm just, I'm really blown away with this, you know, new patch that is out there. So the cool thing with this is right now it's kind of like a little beta, but it's performing beautifully in my eyes. But Biu, if I'm saying the name correctly, the main coder, he is going to implement this into the main release whenever the next release comes out. So it's going to be integrated into those main files. Pretty cool stuff. So I just wanted to showcase some games here playing with, you know, the normal mode of mode seven, if that's the best way to say it, I don't know. And then switch on over to this HD mode seven because it is flipping amaze balls. You know, there's something to be said about emulation. It definitely has, it's got its place in the world, you know, allowing people to continue to experience these games and play them. And you know, on my channel, we do take a look at a lot of different things here emulation, real hardware, FPGA based hardware, clone hardware of any degree. And to me, there's no right or wrong answer, guys. It's whatever works best for you. What works best for me may not work best for you. I love exploring everything. My channel started out with just emulation stuff, you know, retro pie and whatnot. And it was a lot of fun looking at that. Now taking a look at Final Fantasy II here love this game holy crap but the intro starts out with a little mode 7 beautiful this brings back memories but when you see that in the hd mode holy crap which we're swapping over to right now but yeah like i was saying you know we've talked a lot about emulation kind of grew from there into different ways of playing on original hardware and clone hardware fpga stuff even with mr really really awesome stuff look at this is like a whole new game i know it's not a whole new game guys you know we can't kid ourselves but it looks amazing could you imagine that's the way these games looked back in the day and then f-zero there's tons of uh mode 7 games out there you know i haven't played every single one of them but you know we've got f-zero terra enigma pilot wings teenage mutant ninja turtles 4 uh, super castlevania 4 secret of mana secret of evermore Final Fantasy 4, 5, and 6, Super Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars, uh, Super Robot Wars series, Super Star Wars, Chrono Trigger, Act Razor, Mega Man 7, Kirby Superstar. There's some sports games as well. The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. Holy crap, I forgot about that with the map and whatnot. Lots of games utilize this, maybe not for the full game, maybe for certain features, but it is a very prominent thing in the Super Nintendo library for a lot of classic games. And here we go, HD mode on F-Zero, looking legit. So, like I said, this is available now in a beta form. Uh, you could download it. I'm gonna put a link in the description, but I'm gonna quickly show you how 
to use this, how to set this up. Not very difficult. Um, if you've never used this emulator before, it is awesome, very accurate, uh, only requires very minimal setup on your PC, essentially just your controller, and then whatever options you wanna use, like if you're gonna use this HD mode seven. So let's go ahead and get this set up. All right, guys, so in order to get all this installed, you're gonna navigate to this Reddit post. I'll put a link in the description, gotta make it easy for you guys. So once you get here, you're gonna see HD Mode 7 Mod 4 BSNES Beta 1. This is implemented into BSNES, so the download is whole. You don't have to install it into BSNES. This is BSNES with the HD Mod. So once you first get on here, there'll be like a picture here of Super Mario Kart, like a little comparison, but for me, it disappears right away. I don't know, not a big deal. But if you go to this first download, the Windows Binary and Change Source Files, this is gonna be beta one, but he has updated this, so I would recommend bypassing that one for now. So scroll down, and you'll see his most recent edit, beta two. So he also has a lot of notes. Like I said, link will be in the description. Read through these notes. I'm not gonna go through everything, but he has made some fixes and whatnot. Now, go ahead and click this link. It's gonna bring you to this tiny upload, and here is the file, bsnes hm 7 b 2zip it's 1.564 megabytes, not a big download at all. So click on that, and then you're gonna go ahead and extract it. We'll take a look at the emulator and some settings in just a second, but I did wanna showcase something that he put up, because I didn't put this in my video uh, as far as you know testing out Zelda, but he does have the map here, and I think this is pretty cool. So here is the classic map, and you see some jaggies, you know, some sharp pixels. It, it does look pretty good, you know I mean? It's what we're accustomed to, but just a, a little sharper maybe. Uh, but it does look good. Now swapping over to the HD version, those jaggies are, man, those jagged edges are pretty much gone. Like, just look at that. I don't know what YouTube is going to do as far as, you know, the processing of this image on my video, but hopefully you can see it is night and day the sharpness, like look at the little houses. Look at them in the classic mode and then swap on over to HD mode. They actually look like little houses now. And then a little uh, close up of the castle, here's classic. Boom, you know, you got some sh some jagged edges, corners going on over here and on the, the, the rivers and everything and the little cliffs on the side here. Go to HD mode, everything is HD sized. Pretty awesome. Here's his next comparison. I think, okay, it's a really close up of the castle. And then bam, just look at that. That is flipping amazing to me. So there we go. Links will be in the description to check that stuff out. So we do have the emulator up and running. But before uh, we jump into that, this will be your file. Unzip that. When you unzip it, you'll have the extension in here. It might give you like, hey, you know, we don't know about this file. You know, Windows might kind of, act a little nuts about it, but it is fine. You know, I haven't had an issue. I don't see a problem with it. It's just Windows being overly protective, right? And then here's the icon for the uh, executable. And here is the actual emulator. I don't have a game loaded up at this time, uh, but what I'm gonna do is show you what settings you're gonna need to do to get up and running. Because this is essentially, if you just booted this up, this is what you'd be greeted with. So if you go into to system, this is where you would load your games or load your recent games. Um, and then you could change the controller ports to, you know, none or a mouse or a keyboard, that kind of thing. And then you do have an expansion port option. I'm not messing with any of that. The only stuff I messed with in order to get this set up was going into settings and then going into input. When you go into input, this little screen will pop up for your controller ports. So port one, and port two, you see port two, I haven't done anything. Port one, I have actually, I actually set up the, uh, the Retrobit Sega Saturn USB controller, pretty flipping sweet. So I set that up, essentially all I did was made sure the device was set to gamepad, and then I clicked, and when I clicked, it just says press a key or button to map up. So I hit up, and then I just went through with my mouse, clicked on each one, and just set for each button that I wanted to assign. You can clear them if you make a mistake. You can click on it and then click clear and it'll you know wipe it out. If you accidentally hit like a keyboard binding, um, 
like, okay, we got keyboard up. I don't want to use keyboard up. I want to use the, the controller, right? So then I go back in there and I hit up. It still has keyboard up and my controller. If you don't want that, clear it, go back in there, hit up on your controller, and you're good to go. And that is pretty much all you have to do on that part of it. Now, the other thing you can do is go into emulator from here. But if you've already you know, set up your controls and backed out of that, if you just go to settings and go to emulator down here, it'll automatically put you on that tab. So just keep that in mind. Um, any of these options that you select from settings, it'll just bring up this whole screen. You just got to pick which tab you want to go into. But here is where the magic happens for the HD mode 7 scaling. And that's going to be down here in experimental. So boom, you can put it to disabled. And that is the way our footage in the beginning of the video was. It was disabled and then I swapped it all the way over to max, which would be four times. Now, I think it looked great in 240p, disabled, you know, one times on the scaling, like that That right there is just the classic processing. And, you know, it says it's disabling this feature. So there you go. Now, if you wanna test this and like, see like what each option looks like, you would have to reset each time. It's not a big deal. Um, it kind of makes it seem like, oh, you got to back out of the system or, you know, close out the emulator. You don't have to do all that. All you got to do is reset your game. So, for example, if you did load a game, well, actually, we're not going to go into load recent game. We'll go into load game so you could see how this works. So from here, this is where you would navigate and find the path of where your ROMs are located. I am using an external drive with uh, RetroPie setups and ROM packs. So that is what I am using, but very simple. You just navigate there from here. You could search up and whatnot and, you know, find whatever the location is that your ROMs are at. Very simple stuff. So since we're in Super Nintendo, let me go ahead and find a game real quick just to show you an example of resetting real quick. So we'll just we'll just jump back into Pilot Wings. That one's simple. So as this game is loading up, you see right now, it, it looks more blurry than what it looked like when I had it on my screen earlier. And that is gonna be because of the shader. So the shader is blur, we want none. And as you see, boom, no more blur. But we also, I don't believe we have the HD mode on. So no, we do not. This is just gonna be the standard mode, which is fine. Let's go ahead and get into the game real quick. just kind of not really play it but you know give you an example so here we go this is classic mode looking looking good looking real good so if you wanted to test this out in a game like this I mean obviously if it's a game where you've got to save progress and whatnot make sure you've saved first um, but if you want to take your own comparisons Pretty simple. All you would do is, is go back into those settings in the emulator, change this to whatever level you want. We're gonna put it to max, exit out, and then reset system. That's it. System, and then go to reset. Boom. And now we're gonna have it with the HD mode seven mod implemented. And you'll immediately see that it looks flipping amazing to me, guys. So here we go. Huge difference, really, really awesome. Just look at how crisp that is versus, I mean, I know in the skydiving mode, we're a little distance away from the ground, getting closer, getting closer, but just being that high up, you you could see the, the jaggedness previously and how sharp this looks with this HD mode going. So really awesome work going on out there with all these things, with how people are implementing these mods for emulators, especially BSNES, where its goal was accuracy to begin with. You cannot go wrong with accuracy. That is what it's about. And if you're a person who, they, you know, you don't want to jump into other systems or buy original carts or flash carts and, and dive into it that way and, you know, invest in the best possible visuals and all that. You just want to game a little bit. You know, there is nothing wrong with emulating any which way you can. We're probably going to crash right here. Um, 
but yeah, there we go. We crashed. But BSNES, man, it is where it's at. Accuracy is a huge thing. If that is something that means something to you, definitely check this out. Check out this HD Mode 7, you know, implementation on this. I think it is flipping sweet, guys. So, hey, there you go. Just wanted to share this with you guys because I was really impressed. And that's the stuff I talk about. If it's interesting to me, I'm going to talk about it. So there we go. All the links will be in the description. Really do appreciate you guys hanging out with me, checking this out. Share my channel. Share my videos. Help a brother get to 100,000 subscribers. You know what I'm saying? That is my goal for the year of 2019. I mean, we got like eight months to go in this year. I think we can make it happen. But thank you, guys. I will catch y'all next time. Peace out. Bye-bye. And boom. This guy's mean mugging me right now. Damn. Bye.